Hey guys, what's up? It's the Asian. Um, and I have a video for you guys about the best dream board themes for the iPad. I looked on YouTube for a video about this and I couldn't find one. So I decided to make one of my own. So let's get started. Our first dream board theme is Boxor for iPad. Now I've got two. I've got Boxor for uh, iPad ceramic white, which is what I like. And then there's the normal box or so I'll show you the first normal box or first. Um, as you can see, it is a very slick app. It has the sidebar with all of your like uh, like I don't know the apps that you use most of the time. Uh, it has Facebook right here. You've got your calendar right here. You've got weather and just this little icon uh... oops and here you can have your pinned apps now if you want to edit those go to settings and go to edit mode now you can tap any of these and then select any app that you want but i don't want an app so i'm gonna click no icon once you're done editing, just press the home button and you're good to go. Only problem with this is that this is in Celsius and I even went into iFile to try to fix that. But um, for you Celsius people, this is a great theme for you. Next up, uh, oh actually before we go to that, I just show you the ceramic white which is my favorite. It's just a different color scheme. So everything is the same except for the color. Next up, we've got HoneyPad Pro for the iPad. Now, HoneyPad Pro is basically if you turned your iPad into an Android tablet. As you can see, everything is extremely slick. Uh, right here, if you go up, you can uh, click your live weather, animated weather your honeycomb clock, HTC clock, all this stuff that you can enable or disable. When you go to app shortcuts, I have two of them right now, which is how I can have two layers of apps right here and here. Um, you can also, I guess, go to app shortcuts and enable one of those. Then go to home, and to go into edit mode here, just click right there. Uh, and then you can actually have another set right here, which is kind of nice. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to disable that because I don't really need it. You've got all your wallpapers here for the theme. They're all very nice. You have your themes here, which basically the different... I guess Android themes and more you can just uh, all the info and stuff like that so this is a very nice oops this is a very very nice theme probably my favorite overall uh, so yeah be sure to check it out our next dream board theme is OSX Lion for the iPad now this theme is pretty freaking boss uh, basically, if you had your Mac on your iPad, this would be it. Uh, so as you can see, it all looks like the Mac. If you go over here, you've got your clock, your calendar, and then even a working calculator. 10, I mean 12 times 6 equals 72. And that's really, really cool. Uh, some of these icons on the dock don't work, like iTunes doesn't work, and Finder doesn't work. But all the other ones do work. Um, it's sort of the only problem I really have with this is that you can't edit the apps in the dock. But uh, here you've got all your folders. So if you want games, then just click edit mode. Then you can tap what games you want. Uh, Bike Baron, woo! -hoo! Yeah, and so that's how that works. Uh, the coolest thing about this, if you go to uh, mission control button you get all your mail uh... iCalendar FaceTime, address book, App Store, Cydia, YouTube, Map, Memo, Game Center, and Safari and I don't think you can uh... I don't... you can't really edit these but I just think it's super cool that that is even there uh... if you go to the launch 
uh, board, then you oops, then you can scroll through all your apps. They're in alphabetical order. Yep. So that is basically uh, Mac OS X for Lion. Now the funny thing about this is how you install it. So to install it, you've got to go to Cydia. Where are you, Cydia? Boom. Cydia is right here. And give it a second to load. Now, once you're here, you're going to want to go to Sources. Now, go all the way down here and see this iris is dev.kr right here. You're going to want to add this source. So, go to Add Source and then type in iris.isdev or dev dot kr slash cydia n slash um, so once you have this installed just click it click and it's the only one there osx lion for ipad alpha Ugh, now it's gotta reload anyway so that's how you get it alright so our last uh, Dreamboard theme is Metro U for iPad. Now this, once you install it, it will have two things. One is the iPod and iPhone version. The other is the iPad version. Don't click on the iPod version because it will, it's not meant for iPad. Click on this one. So once we get in, as you can see, it is basically, I guess, a Windows theme for the iPad. Now this is really cool, except for the fact, as you can see here, all the icons are really stretched out, and I don't know why that is. Uh, some games have a set icon, so as you can see, Temple Run isn't screwed up, and nor neither is Jetpack Free uh, Joyride. Uh, but in the screenshots, it didn't show all the apps being messed up. It's still pretty cool, though. If you like this type of thing, then that is great. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, then please like it. If you disliked it, then please do so. Uh, if you want to see more of what I do, <laughs> then please subscribe, and I will see you guys later.